this video is going to try to explain some of the unexplainable things and tie together some things that are going on uh, in the world that don't make a lot of sense to people in the West. I want to talk about culling, what's done with fruit, uh, what's done with animals, what's done with flowers. Um, the principle of culling is that, excuse me, the weak, the sick, and the old are uh, destroyed so the 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 breed the uh, the kind uh, can be strong now I've been seeking the Lord about this um, for a while and I know that what I'm speaking is scriptural. The Bible says that men without God are like brute beasts. And, and that's, the, that's the case. We know that human beings are known to have done horrible, horrible things to other human beings. About the time you think you've heard it all, then you hear something else. In the animal kingdom, um, when, say, lions, lions uh, most of the time the females do the hunting but the male gets to uh, feast first uh, before the females and the cubs sometimes he'll let the cubs eat with him but until he's done nobody else comes to the table he's the king of the jungle he's the brute beast and that is respected now, but in the world of animals, when a beast gets weak and old, he's called by other, it's called by other animals. It's killed, it's eaten, it's destroyed. And whether it's a, um, a, a sick animal, an an old animal they are they are called out of the herd and what this does it keeps everybody healthy and strong it's almost like the the strong survive it's kind of like dog eat dog but the point being is that how God in nature you know, you see all these animals eating these other animals, how sometimes it seems so you just don't even like seeing it. it seems gruesome and mean. But God has done everything so perfectly that nature balances all this out. But well, remember I said a minute ago that men, the Bible says, are like brute beasts when they have turned away from God, don't acknowledge God. So what happens with men when they do this, they are called, when you turn away from God, you're like a beast. But what happens, there are other men that are beasts. And men treat other men like these animals treat other animals. Men are like brute beasts. And when you look at what's happening in the West right now, 
like they're thrown a fit because a thousand Muslim men in a German town this weekend, they're trying to cover it up, raped hundreds of white German women, and whatever women were in that batch. I think the town was Cologne, Germany. This is like the sixth day of January. Uh, it happened uh, two or three days ago, and reports of it is getting out are getting out now. Well, this is happening wherever these um, these Muslim men are going, wherever these immigrants, wherever these ISIS thugs, these 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 people are going. <clears throat> instead of going to these Western countries, <clears throat> including America, and being grateful and thankful, they're demanding and destroying and um, tearing everything down and not being grateful and thanking, thankful and raping and murdering. Now, here's what you need to understand. I, I did a video nine years ago about the, the birth rate in the Western nations, <clears throat> Europe and America, and the Americas. And hardly any um, Western nation has a high birth, high enough birth rate, uh, children per family, to keep up with, to allow their population to grow. Uh, as but for Muslims, they're having five to ten kids per family. Now. This is a sickness of the West, a weakness. This feminazi, sodomistic, sodomite, homosexual spirit that men want men and women want women and women want men but they don't want children. This in the beast kingdom would be considered weak and infirmed and old and it has to die. See, nature has a way of taking care of itself. These nations that are being invaded are sex sick. They've gone from natural affection to unnatural affection, doing natural things to doing unnatural things to the point that they're killing themselves and are not repopulating because of their foolishness. Well, the Bible tells us that the law is for the lawbreaker. And he who makes the laws are the strongest. And with the Western nations being gay and lesbian and feminized and transgenderized, the West is weak and sick. And the ones that are coming in, they are going to make the laws. They are laying down the law. They are calling like beast call one another. And nature itself by God's great wisdom is calling the feminism and the sodomite homosexuality and lesbianism that the Anglo nations would survive and repopulate again. See, the Bible says that the things that I've just mentioned they are an illness. They are a sickness. It's called sin sickness. And 
Um, let me give you some other examples. Um, I've been in the ministry since 84. Uh, the Lord, I just didn't get all this, just some something in the last couple of days. Things the Lord's been teaching me in ministry. That's why I said nine years ago or so, I put up those birth rates of the Anglo nations, which they didn't hardly reproduce anymore. And this was one thing about letting in all these immigrants into these nations, because all you've got left is old people with no young people to take care of them and no young people to work in the fields. So to keep the economy going, you've got to have You've got to have immigrants to do that. But um, one of the dreams that the Lord gave me about 2000 2002 in that area, I'd have to check specifically was I saw a bunch of men in a room, a large room. And there was a receptionist desk at a door. And these men were standing in line to go through the door, and you'd go by the reception desk. I was in the line. There were hundreds in there. When it, when it came my time, I went through the door, and the door shut, and I went in there. And there were two Arab men in there. One had a sword, a large man with the sword. And the other Arab man, another Arab man standing there. And I was told by one of the Arab men to sodomize and do oral sex on the other man or have my head chopped off. Well, I wasn't going to do that. I'm a Christian. I know better by the grace of God. Um, but you never know what you do to you under a test. Go through a test. But anyway, I thought, well, I get, I'm going to lose my head. I thought about my daddy. My daddy was in the Marine Corps in World War II. And the way he made me take SWATs when he gave me SWATs, was, which was not very often because I didn't need, to him, need for him to give me SWATs. I did everything to make sure he never gave me any. Was daddy would tell me to bend down and grab my ankles and not make a sound. Take your, take your whooping, boy. If you did it, if you're big enough to do it, be big enough to take it. So I bent down and grabbed my ankles from that great lesson from my daddy by faith. And when I grabbed my ankles, get my head cut off, somebody said, you can go. You see, I've known for a while by things the Lord's been showing me that Islam is a judgment against homosexuality. An abomination. Islam is a judgment against feminism and lesbianism. Because if God did not allow this judgment to come on the Western nations, she would cease to exist. She could not, she would not populate anymore. And it's not like God is doing it. He's this principle of calling in nature. When men act like beasts, then other beasts that are meaner and stronger, call them, destroy them, use them, take them out, and they control. 